Hello, today is uh, Tuesday, the uh, 12th of June. Let's take a quick look at the uh, gold and silver markets, starting off within the daily chart of gold, which is having an update today. And what I like about this uh, setup is pretty much how it's playing by the book. And that is the resistance level that was felt within this uh, significant area that was once uh, an area of support. It's come down, made the higher low, yes, higher than I, or lower than I expected, but still higher. And at the same point, this uh, moving average, which started off going down, sideways to down, and down some more, well, it's now starting to uh, come in an uptrend now. And also, when you get back to this point of 1623, and it's pretty close to it as I'm doing this video, it increases the chances that this level is to be taken out. Therefore, move up here and, and then really just getting above here. What would be interesting is a support level down towards here, but it's really wild card. If you break through and you're back towards this area here around 1645, you don't know if it's going to come back here, if it's going to make a move up towards this level. But if it does continue going further, the next significant resistance level is 1685. Five. Now let's move on to the uh, silver chart and it's still got a little bit ways to go to have another test of this 30 and in reality it's this first test was a decent pierce below still at pretty much a uh, resistance level and same thing with the moving averages we now see how it's forming within an uptrend therefore because of that you you, you need this to flatten out you get above it which is just getting above it and then when you come back, you find support within it. So far, that has been the case. And then go back higher and break the resistance that you established. And we pretty much established here, but I'm going to have to say 30. So a clear break above 30. And this thing uh, could have the good potential to at least get up to the next level, which is at 32 and 2 thirds. And we shorten this out to the uh, five hour chart. We got the Fibonacci from this low and this high. And uh, so far, it did come down here and find uh, support at the significant Fibonacci level. And for the last few days now, last few sessions, it's been stabilizing above and below this uh, significant 28 and 2 thirds level. Also, we can see breaking past that resistance field. It does look as if this thing is going, going to be ready to get going because it broke above the neutrality in here. Okay, so now you break above neutrality, what are you going to do from that point? You need to consolidate. Again, a further pullback than you would have imagined or would have liked to see, but we're also seeing the potential of this to be a failed breakdown in here or going further than one would have liked, but it was based on this because breaking clearly above here would make this uh, moving average start to go higher. And, uh, and then from obviously breaking past this 30, at uh, the 3266 on the daily chart with a little bit of 31 I think as well would be a good significant areas 31 again would be roughly around here so yeah that was an area of previous heavy support as well as an area of resistance so thank you for tuning in and have yourself a uh, great day bye bye